Okay, my original point is Glide should not exist as a... I, I'm still on the Glide should not exist in the flight numbers. Okay. I'm still on it. Okay. Okay? And, and I'm on it because... The 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 actual mold of the disc has little to do with the glide, more so than dome. I think dome has more to do with the glide than the actual mo mold. And I'll tell you why. Because I literally have been throwing these discs. I've been throwing a lot of discs recently, and a lot of like different ones. And I've noticed that discs that fly like two nukes that have very similar flight characteristics in the sense of like actually to the visible eye, how they flip up and fly. Mm -hmm. What the nuke, the nuke that like Ezra gave me this nuke goes so far, so much further than this other nuke. And the only difference between the two, same, same plastic, all that. The only difference between the two is the dome. One's domey and one's flatter. So that's where I think when you talk about glide, the glide number is going to be the same for both those nukes. However, the glide is not the same. Yeah. So that's why I think you just get rid of the glide completely because really, ultimately, too, a disc that is really, really overstable, that has a lot of fade, a high fade number, is going to have far less glide than a disc that doesn't have a lot of fade, right? So like no, something like – Something like a buzz, for example, is going to have a lot more glide than a disc like a drone that wants to just try to work itself out. If you both, if you throw them both flat, again, I'm going off of throwing discs flat. Sure. If you throw sure. them both flat, the buzz is going to travel further than the drone because as soon as you throw it flat, it's trying to get to the ground where the buzz is just flying forward. That was my original argument. Yeah. But when it comes to like when it comes to uh, especially distance drivers, because you don't really ever see, and this is interesting. Why don't you see as many like domey uh, fairways? You do. Not nearly as much though. I've never like had like a pop top under. Uh, well, Undertaker, I've had a little bit. Well, you're but, but you've only maybe, thrown discraft like T birds or domey all the time. Uh, leopards, rivers. Uh, I've had some really domey F5s. Uh, I've same had some great FDs. As, same dome as a distance driver? Yeah. I've had pop top T-Birds. I've had oh, okay. I've actually had T-Birds that have more more dome than my, than a, a destroyer. I don't think I've ever had like a pop top Raptor. Well, no, I don't think that, I've ever had a, a lot of Innova's Why is that? It's just the mold. The mold has a lot to do with the So, what you're saying makes Undertaker, somewhat sense. Undertaker Undertaker's and Heats Yes, I've had Domi Undertakers and Heats. Like Avenger SS, I don't know if I've had a Domi Avenger SS. No, they don't, they don't really ever run with Dome. It's kind of like a, a yeah. zone. If a zone, there's been like one zone run in all of our years of getting discs in that has had Dome. They're pretty much all mm. board flat. Because the mold, whatever it is about, I don't know the full process. Doesn't allow it? It either doesn't allow it or like something along it encourages it to be flat. And there's some discs like that that just are encouraged to be more flat. Whereas there are other discs, like mm -hmm. a river, I've never felt a river that wasn't domey. But the river has six glide. That's like its big thing is it's very glidey fairway driver. And so, therefore, like you're saying, is a lot of that is attributed to the dome. I'll agree with that, that statement. But, but that's tricky, though. Like nukes, like that's, that's the disc that, you know, I throw the most. But wouldn't you say, that the, wouldn't you say the issue and, is that you can get two nukes that fly differently? Wasn't, isn't that more of a consistency issue versus a glide number issue? Well, well, no, I'm saying like, do they then need to almost make, do that? Does Discraft almost need to make two different discs? Like, or, or you make a disc, you call it like, take out Glide, right? Take yeah. that number out. And you say, this is the Nuke F, which means flat. And this is the Nuke D, which means dome. Because like what you were saying, you were just saying a bunch of uh, molds that essentially just have either they're always domey or they're flat. But like a nuke, I have nukes that are board flat and I have nukes that are extremely domey. So what, do you think when, when it comes to that, to a mold that they know can go one way or the other, do they almost have to like distinguish between the two? Because that's where I'm at right now. It's like, I think dome 
has way more to do, like a domey force, for example, is going to fly further and stay in the air longer than a flat nuke. Yeah, I mean that's probably that's probably true. I think I think the reason you see the inconsistency with it more in distance driver, and again I could be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure a distance driver typically has a thinner flight plate. The middle of the disc is thinner mm -hmm. versus like a putter is the thickest, mid's a little little thinner, fairway's a little thinner, and then the distance driver. So when the disc is settling after coming out, it depends a lot on like the factory condition or like temperature in the air and stuff like that. Uh, from what I've understood that will change how it settles into the mold and the dome in the middle. And since it's thinner, that is why it varies more in distance drivers. And the only mm. issue is like they might have three weeks straight where every nuke that comes out is domey and they're just, they want a nuke F or whatever they call it. They want the, the flat nuke. And so like, it might be something where it's hard to get the flat nuke consistently with whatever's going on. Whereas like they're both nukes. You know, for the majority of the population, they're both going to fly very, very similar. It's just once you get... Majority of the population, yeah. Yeah, it's just once you get to, like, an elite level. But then again, once you get to or an elite level, you're feeling wins. it. Or, yeah, sure. Sure. But I still, think, I still think there's yeah. discs that exist from... And you might have to go manufacturer to manufacturer that have very similar fade. So, like, how far left they finish... But one has more glide, so it has like a pushing fade versus the other ones like a drone or a zone or a anything like that where it has like a dumpy finish. And so the glide's important in that aspect because it's like how long the disc wants to stay in the air while still going left. That's why that's why I can't yeah, agree. I, like I think I, first off, I think flight numbers absolutely they mean nothing in general because every company has a different one. So like a seven speed at Discraft isn't a seven speed at Latitude, which isn't a sad seven speed at Prodigy, which isn't a seven speed at End of Us. Like, what, what the heck do they even mean? That, that's not part mm -hmm. of this conversation. It's if we're using them, I think Glide should be one of the numbers if we're using it. Uh, just because, like, I think it's at least a good number to understand, like, a very overstable disc is going to have less Glide. But a very like far flying or neutral flying disc might still have that fade, but it'll have more glide. So I, as a consumer, can understand, oh, this disc is meant to stay in the air longer, even though it's still going to be overstable, versus, oh, this disc is going to get to the ground faster and be overstable. Yeah, I think, I think until we can get a machine that can consistently shoot discs out with and, and we can affect how fast they go out, and we can also affect the amount of spin. Yeah. Because those two things matter a lot. Um, if we can get a machine that does that, I think that video breaks the internet. No, Because yeah. then all of a sudden, th then all of a sudden you can literally say, all right, we're going to throw, you know, what are two discs that people talk about all the time? Like in different, di different manufacturers that, People say like are the same disc. I mean, back roughly. in the day, back in the day, people always argued between the Buzz and the Rock Three, but like the Rock Three is beaded. Perfect. But you could at least see so, like which so, one actually goes farther and stuff like that. Yeah. Does the Berg actually fall out of the <laughs> there sky? There you go. Does the Berg actually have no glide? Uh, yeah. I, so you I, put the <laughs> Berg against like uh, the Roach or something that has an insane amount of glide, and you you launch it. Everything's the same. And then all of a sudden you find out like they both went 300 feet. No, the Berg, the Berg definitely has less glide than, than, my, than a Roach. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. All right. All right. 75 percent. All right. All right. 10 percent sure that the Berg has less glide. No, I, I do notice oh, that I have Firebird to throw it hard. Raptor. Firebird Raptor would be good. Firebird's too. way That'd more overstable. It, it'd be like Firebird Captain Raptor. That's compar that's mm, com that's yeah. comparable. That's comparable.